Okay. Today, uh, doing drawing 4-8. <clears throat> Just to give you a few pointers. So as you draw this in uh, CAD and 3D, uh, just think of, you know, you always, whatever you do, you want to draw the basic shape of the object. So if you look at this, this is kind of the basic shape of the object. <clears throat> okay. So in CAD, all right, you know, if you look at this, you know, that first extrusion is basically just this right here. Okay. The correct dimensions and everything. And then you extrude it the full distance, you know, the full thing. Then you're going to do little cutouts. You're going to cut out here, cut out here, cut out there. You know, and I just did that all in one sketch with the correct dimensions and everything. You know, that's all I did. And I just cut those all out. <clears throat> all right. And, of course, when you take it into draft, then, you know, your front view is always showing the basic shape. So that's your front view. Don't have it rotated or anything in any different way. And you get your <clears throat> top right side an isometric view. Make sure the scale, you know, again, if it's one or half, one is too big and half is too small, then use three quarters, you know, 0.75. Three quarters of an inch equals one inch. <clears throat> and when you dimension, you know, when you dimension these holes, okay, um, you want to first make sure that you do the center lines. Some of you are forgetting to do the center lines. Make sure you do the center lines. These where you show them as hidden lines, you use the bisector. And then if you see it as a circle or an arc, you use the center mark. And if you don't remember how to do that, go back to <clears throat> a video on 4-4 uh, center lines. You can go check that out. Um, also, I want to show you, let me get back there, right here. And when you do these holes, you know, just do the concentric hole, okay? And make sure you're using the hole command, okay? Use the hole command. So you'd want to do concentric on here because the center of this hole is concentric with this arc. So they have the same center point. That's what concentric means. Okay, we've done this already, you know, in 4-4, but it's basically kind of the same thing. And then when you go to dimension this, <clears throat> make sure you use the hole thread note command to dimension this because it will give you all the information you need, you know, You'll have to put in the through and the three times, but it'll always give you, or not the through, but the three times at the beginning. And if you want to do that, basically all you have to do is double click that. And you just put all that information, the three times at the beginning here. Put a space and it'll put that in there. You know, it's not that hard. <clears throat> if you just do the regular dimension command, it's not going to do the through. Okay. Oops. Let me get the not going to do the through you'll still have to add that in but it gives you the through so you might as well do it okay <clears throat> so make sure you dimension it uh using the whole thread note remember anytime it's a hole use whole thread note anytime it's a hole over here make sure you use the whole command okay so just something simple you guys should know that